watching this tape. No, you can't. They had lived in terror for years. Hey, Ms. Hopkins, it's Amina. The plan to seek safety detailed in an email. I am so scared right now, it's crazy. Amina Saeed wrote the email to her history teacher. Four days before she, her sister, their mother, and their boyfriends fled Texas in December 2007. This is a case about a man obsessed with possession and control. Investigators say Yasser Saeed was furious. His girls were dating American boys. Simply made our lives a nightmare. He's one man, not God. I know that he will search until he finds us, and he will, without any drama or doubt, kill us. Whose plan was it to leave? I mean, us. They returned days later. Their mother, Patricia Saeed, convincing the girls to come back to Texas. Sarah went home, but Amina refused seeking shelter at her boyfriend Edgar's house. Then Patricia shows up on your parents' doorstep. What do you tell Patricia? That she should be concerned about Amina's entire safety, uh, that she should not take her daughters back home. He says Amina did not want to go, but Patricia insisted. She said that I would never see her again. This is the last time I would ever see her. And she walked out. Oh, no. why is she telling me that? Because she knew she was going to die. Edgar says he spotted Amina, Sarah, and their father in a cab about 30 minutes later. Amina was sitting in the front passenger seat. Her look was in fear, uh, uncomfortable. She, she didn't look like she wanted to be there. The sisters' bodies later found dead inside that cab. Amina shot twice, Sarah nine times. Their father nowhere to be found until years later. In Dallas, I'm Tanya Iser.